Good morning, dear learners. Once again, I'm here with you with a new topic, and that topic is selection. In the human resource management, earlier I discussed on the recruitment, in which we try to make a big pool, a uh, number of applicants, a high number of applicants, and out of those applicants, we try to select which is most suitable for us. The candidates who are most suitable for us. So we start the process of selection. So the today's topic is selection, in which we will discuss about the other aspects of the selection. So if we could say the selection process can be defined as the process of selection and shortlisting of the right candidates with the necessary qualifications and skill set to fill the vacancies in organization. In the selection process, the, our purpose is to select the candidate who has the necessary qualifications. We had advertised and in that advertisement there are some certain qualifications explained there. And we are now selecting our candidates according to that advertisement. So in the process of selection, we are trying that the most suitable candidates who have the uh, very excellent qualifications and the highly skilled persons, they must be in the organization, they must be stay in the organization. That's why we are conducting the process of selection. So selection is the process of choosing the most suitable persons out of the applicants. There are lot, uh, there are a big number of applicants. I, earlier I told in the recruitment process we invited and we stimulated the employees, most of the peoples, and motivated also to apply for a particular job. And in those peoples, there is a big pool, and we are choosing the most suitable. There are so many persons who are the very highly qualified, who are, had the very good experience. They are a highly skilled people. So the purpose of ours is to choose the best one. Because of if we are able to select the most suitable candidates who are most suitable for the organization, definitely the organization will develop. He can run or he will develop. So the purpose of selection is to, mo to choose the most suitable candidates. The selection process varies from industry to industry. Yeah, this is a very important thing that maybe uh, there are so many organizations and in the, each and every organization, they have the different selection process. It differs in select, uh, organization to organization. The company to company and even among us departments of the same company. Sometimes you will found that for the production department, the selection procedure will be different from the HR department or any other departments. So in the same organization, even the selection process will be different. It differs due to the nature of the job because the job that will handle by the, um, the um, employee will different. In the HR person, he must be a very good, communi his, his communication skill must be very strong. For the HR people, it's very important that his communication skill should be very strong. He must be uh, very uh, strategy, he must be expert in the strategy formulation. But for the production department, he must be expert with the machines, tools and others. So the, the selection process will be different in both the departments. Every organization creates a selection process because of the, their own requirement. They have the own, their own requirements. Even there are differences are there according to the post and the organization, the selection procedure differs. But overall, the main steps remains the same. As far as this is the model uh, uh, steps here presented in the slide, that what the steps may be or what the steps will be in the selection procedure. First of all, that is the primary preliminary interview. First of all, before we start the selection procedure, we go for the preliminary interview, that is very uh, initial level, and uh, not a top level employee, not a top level uh, employees even took this in the interview, but the a uh, very short interview just to know uh, a basic knowledge about the employee we conduct the preliminary interview 
then receiving applications we receive the applications and then screening of application screening of application is important in which we even try to search or we know whether the employees has the minimum requirements or not in the application the educational qualification the other qualifications are up to the mark or not if he is able to fulfill the minimum requirements or the minimum qualification then is his applicant will be considered otherwise it will be not considered so employment test then after we conduct the employment test that how the employee is suitable for the post in the employment test we conduct the different different type of tests who are uh, uh, who are for the organization very important as far as a uh, test is designed for a person who is at the uh, clerical post or who is working as the office staff so for this type of employee it is important that his typing he must be expert in the typing so the typing test will be included in the selection test or the employment test so likewise the other posts and the departments are and according to those needs the employment test are conducted or the designed then after the interview interview is a uh, face to face interaction of the employee uh, with the uh, top level of the management so in this he try to check the personality of the employee and he check the whether the he is suitable or he will do the work or not so how much he is suitable for the job so in the interview it was it is checked by the top level then reference checking is also very important what what is we don't know the background of the employee we only know his performance what he is perform his skill when we check we check their knowledge level but we don't know what is his uh, background whether uh, he is very good or not so for these purpose we go for the reference checking who is the reference and we by the referred person we check the whether he is uh, genuine or not then medical examination if the if uh, any employee is going to join the organization then he should be medically fit he should be physically fit for that purpose uh, we go, we go for the medical interview med medical examination in that generally he is not suffering with any serious disease or not we check here and then the final selection after that the employee will be finally selected in the organization these are the steps and one more thing in the employment test if it is if he is not found then he will be rejected a interview if he is not found suitable then rejected or any test any employee if it is not suitable he is not able to successfully achieve the hurdles he is not successfully crossing the hurdles then he will be definitely rejected for the organization then he will not be in the part of the selection process during the selection process we organize we even uh, make the so many tests to check the capability of the employee whether he is capable whether he is knowledgeable or how much he is suitable for the organization so we conduct the different different tests first test that is the aptitude or potential ability test aptitude or potential ability test this test check that any employee who is willing to work with us or be willing in the organization then how much he is uh, he has the potential or the ability potential ability test checks how much he is able how much he has the potential that he can do the job because they are the new any employee who is joining the organization he is he never had uh, done the work so he will be the new employee but if he had the ability if he had the potential then he can face the challenges or he can do the work so we organize the aptitude or potential ability test in which uh, again there are the three types of tests that is a mental or intelligence test mental test how much mentally he is stable how much mentally he is strong how he can face the challenges or the problems so we check the mental or intelligence test mechanical aptitude test this is aptitude test in which we check the employees that how mechanically 
if you are providing the work then how he can even do the work so that is the mechanical aptitude test psychometer psychomotor or skill test in this test we also check the how skill he has because to perform the job effectively and efficiently the skill is much more required so in this test we also check the skill of the employee these tests are even designed to check the skills and aptitude or the ability of the employees who are going to join the organization so another test that is achievement or proficiency test that in this test uh, employee is checked that how much because we are looking to achieve the our objectives so how much he is able to achieve the our targets or the our objectives of the organization in which the job knowledge test how much a person how much an employee who is going to join the organization who is new how much is known about the knowledge that is required to perform the job most of the time you, uh, there are so many employees there are so many people who know about the job how to perform that work sample test this is again test that uh, during the work how an employee is performing how he can perform in the sample work we are providing the some sample work and an employee is performing so the checking the records up to checking the performance of the employee we can say that the work sample test can provide us that any employee who, who is more suitable uh, during the work then we have another test that is the personality test it is also very important that objective test in in the personality test there is three types of test objective projective and situation test actually this is the uh, whole all our overall personality of an employee checked in this test that how a person how an employee even will even uh, he will react in the different different situations how much he is cool how much he is uh, patience full how much an employee is uh, his personality is very charming so, so most of the work when he can do with his charming personality or his very good communicative uh, communication skill so different different things are of a part of the personality and with the help of that personality test we can check whether the employee is suitable for us or not and the last that is the interest test sometimes the organization also checks what is the interest of that particular employee who is going to join the organization but what is his interest area may be possible uh, during the placement after the selection if you are going to placement so you can place him in his area of interest where he can perform more better rather than other people so we also check the check the interest test developing a, a test program Uh, we develop our test program once we have decided the test what the test we are going to choose so then we will develop the a test program and in that so deciding the objectives first of all we uh, decide the objectives what is the objective of the test program in the objectives because of in the uh, in the manpower planning policy everything is clearly mentioned that which type of employee we are looking what will be the skills of that employee so the objectives are already decided here which type of employee we are going to choose we or uh, we are which type of employee we are going to select analyzing the job what is the job of uh, any any job we, we have taken the job any top so we analyze the job which type of task is required putting in that job which type of challenges are in that job so according to that we will even design our program of selection if a job is of uh, army person so definitely we need the physical strength is also a very important aspect so we will go for that we will check whether the employee is physically very strong or not so such type of analysis of job even provides the inputs that how we can develop a test program choosing tests and according to that we will choose the test the require what is the requirement that will we by analyzing the job we can get the analyzing the job and then after 
we can choose the test which test is suitable for them whether the physical test is more important rather than it's a mental test is important or whatever the test is important we choose the test administering the test once you have decided the test then administering the test means we are going to implement that test how we will conduct what will be the certain parameters of the test and then according to that test we will administer the test establishing criteria of job success after that we will also establish the criteria of job success how we can we can establish the job criteria that that will uh, success that will provide a success so establishing criteria for job success any job how it can be success what will be the criteria so we establish that and then analyzing results what are the results if the test program is organized we we develop a program of the, uh, the test selection test so what is the result what was the result what was the outcome we analyze of that uh, there are few guidelines of test once you are organizing the test then there are few guidelines how you will do this validity is the first and foremost in which it should be valid you are organizing the test you are choosing the you are selecting the implies but it should be valid whether uh, it is valid or not it's a big big question once it is valid then it's okay otherwise if it is not valid the, your test is not valid you are your tools are not valid so it is uh, while good chase so validity is a big uh, question and it should be in the guidelines of the test is it should be valid reliability the another thing the test should be reliable there should be reliability uh, everyone can even trust on this that this the this selection was fair uh, it was justified and fair so that is the reliability standardization standardization is another uh, suggestion it should be if you are selecting a employee in the op for the office job so standardize the test where there how much speed of typing should be in have you can standardize that the 60 words per minute 30 words per minute or whatever the standard you can even maintain there for the purpose of our office uh, work an employee who can who has a typing speed of more than 30 more than 40 he will be suitable for us so standardization is very important Obje objectivity the test should be very objective why we are conducting it should be very pinpointed and for that particular reason this should be organized weightages there should be the weightages in the test maybe uh, according to the post according to the nature of the job there should be the weightage of different different tasks and different different activities uh, competent uh, persons we should also even consider during the test it should be considered that how the competent person will be also selected maybe possible they are not uh performing very well or they could not perform well but you can check whether uh, they are competent or not if the competency level is very high so they must be considered for the job may be possible due to some reason due to uh, uh, any reason they are not performing well they could not perform in the test but the competent person should be considered imprecise the last one that is the imprecise uh people should be uh, there is uh, in the test during the test the guidelines of the test it should be imprecise so these are the guidelines of the interview in the test and after that once you have select, uh, selected the employee then we go for the test uh, so after the test we will go for the interview so interview is a face to face interaction between two persons or a particular for a particular purpose it doesn't mean uh, that a person is facing the interview so definitely it will be for the job or the selection sometimes the interview is done for the other activities also even we conduct for the selection po uh, point of view also but this is also for the placement appraisal orientation disciplinary action exit of se or separation counseling general problems so in these activities we also conduct the interview we uh, for the placement we talk we take an interview and we 
in the interview he checked that how an employee or the people is suitable for uh, of any particular job so we will place their appraisal in the appraisal there is we take also the interview again to know uh, uh, the personality of that particular employee or to know about him so we also in the appraisal we also conduct the inter interview then uh, orientation we are we um, uh, organize the orientation programs in which we try to enhance the skill knowledge and capability of the employee so that is the orientation where there also interview in, interview will be conducted disciplinary action is as well in which we talk about the, we talk the employees we have some queries we ask to the employees and according to that the disciplinary action will take place exit or separation if one anyone is leaving the organization then the interview that why he is maybe sometimes due to some reason he is not able to understand but he is leaving so during the interview it could be solved here so the exit and separation counseling and general problems he is facing the general problems then is also and the counseling during the for the counseling purpose we also conduct the interview and objectives or and importance of the interview what are the objectives and importance of interview why we conduct the interview and what are the objectives It's to cross check or verify the information obtained in earlier stages we even uh, advertise the post we uh, start the recruitment process and when we start the selection process where we organize the different different tests and it is possible that any employee who is successfully who successfully clears all the hurdles but in the interview we cross check or verify the information obtained in earlier stages whether they are the correct or not uh, may be possible he uh, got the selection but what exactly is so to check him to verify him we conduct the interview to judge the candidates qualification and characteristics qualifications and uh, characteristics no one knows uh, the characteristics of the employee who is new for the organization so to check the characteristics and qualifications of the employee the interview we also conducted to establish a rapport a uh, manual understanding between the company and candidate <coughs> this is also uh, conducted to that there should be a mutual understanding between employee and the company or there should be a trust once he is going to join the organization so how much he likes to do work to so to establish the such type of understanding the company and candidate we conduct the interview to predict the candidates job performance in the interview we can we predict the what will be the job performance of the candidate how he will perform once he is getting the chance in the organization so what will be his performance to predict this one we conduct the interview to just that how the candidate interact and responds this is again a uh, objective or the reason why we are conducting the interview so to, to check the candidates in how he will interact and respond how he will interact with the colleagues how will he interact with the our his uh, boss or how he will interact with his uh, lower level employees so how he will interact with the overall organization people and how he will respond that is very important because if uh, in the organization if they are working the people are working so their respond and their interaction is uh, plays a very important role so it should be considered and in the interview we check that what is the level of the employee that he interact and how he interact and responds so these are the different tests and interview by which uh, on the basis of these tests and interviews uh, an employee is selected for the organization the purpose that was to choose the most suitable by the stress it is found that or it is tries that the most suitable candidates should be the part of the organization so this was the end of this lecture and the that was on the selection so thanks to all of you in the next lecture i will talk on different topic uh, thanks to all of you for this lecture and in next lecture i will talk on some different topic thank you